The Intel NUC is a small, silent, customizable computer that's fully compatible with Linux, but can it replace your desktop tower? Hi, this is Captain from FascinatingCaptain.com and I think we should take a look. There are several versions ranging from Celeron and Pentium through to i3 and i7 processors. With a choice like this, you're sure to find a NUC that fits your needs. I'm using the 5th generation quad-core Pentium version, which is perfect for everyday tasks. The NUC is surprisingly compact, yet includes all the standard ports and connections you would expect in a desktop machine. The NUC is a bare-bones kit, which means you'll need to add your own RAM and storage. I chose this 8GB RAM module and this 120GB SSD. Putting the components together is a simple 5 minute job. Remove the 4 screws, slot the RAM in and click into place. The SSD slides into place and is secured with 2 screws. Finish by putting the NUC back together. To check the hardware, plug everything in, power on and press F10. In the BIOS you should see the RAM and SSD. Before doing anything else, I recommend updating the BIOS. Download the .bio file and copy it to an SD card or USB drive. Press the power button for 3 seconds and then press F7. Now update the BIOS using the downloaded file. Compared to pre-configured systems, this stylish PC gives Linux users what they want, choice and freedom. The choice comes from processor type, RAM and storage amounts based on your needs and what you can afford. Freedom comes from not being forced to pay extra for a bundled Windows license that you may never use. Lastly, the hardware is well supported under Linux, so most distros should install without any problems. If you're interested in seeing how well the NUC performs with Linux installed, watch this space, because the distro reviews are coming. Until then, this is Captain from FascinatingCaptain.com now you've watched the video, come on over to fascinatingcaptain.com where you'll find the full NUC review along with all the links featured in this video. While you're here, hit the subscribe button as well. You know you want to.